Hello everyone, welcome to PC Tech Help. Um, we're going to be getting started in our PHP programming. Now I'm not going to do separate courses in PHP 4 and PHP 5. Basically we're going to be covering PHP 5 because you know it's the newer version that's out. It's pretty much fully ob object oriented programming. Uh, PHP 4 was just a limited uh, with its object orientation. So we're going to stick with PHP 5. When there's important differences and stuff, I'll go ahead and point them out for you, out to you. But we're basically going to be uh, sticking with version 5. And uh, first thing we're going to have to do is download a web server. So you can go to Google, type in XAMP, and go ahead and search. You'll go to Apache Friends, click on Apache Friends, and then it's going to take you to this is their website, but they're going to send you to SoundForge because uh, XAMPP is an open source. And when you go there, if you have a SoundForge account, go ahead and log in, and they're going to want you to do this poll, uh, vote for them. And uh, if you don't have it, go ahead and create an account and uh, send in your vote. Then you'll be able to download XAMPP. It's a matter of preference, you know. If you want to use it, you might have some friends that have uh, suggested it, so you have to go through that. Another server is WAMP server and that's w a m p and server and i'll take you to wampserver.com just go ahead and click on that and they, they they're going to give you apache 2 uh, mysql 5.1 and php 5.2 and that's all you're going to get if you go with the uh, xamp you're going to get also filezilla and a bunch of other uh languages and utilities and stuff that doesn't come with this but WAMP server if you're just going to uh, do your developing on your local machine or if you do freelancing and you need a local machine to do your developing on and stuff like that or you're learning PHP you need a local server then WAMP, WAMP is just fine if you want to get into a bunch of other stuff and you put or you put you like to have FileZilla on your computer you know it's all preference really doesn't matter Personally, I have both of them on this machine. I have WAMP server and I have XMAP. I also have a BIS server. So when I'm doing my URLs at the top, uh, you can set them up for local host or you can have it set up for 127.0.0.1. And um, I'll go ahead and explain that to you now because I don't want to confuse anyone. Here on my machine, if I go up, and type localhost that's going to take me to WAMP server right here my administration I got all my utilities over here to the side there's some demos already there for like CD collection and biorhythm and uh, Excel writer so there's some example programs and example programming there that you can look at but on the same token if I go up here and I type in 127.0.0.1 and go to port 9999 and that's going to take me to my Abyss web server console and this I have set up for my ASP.NET programming and for those of you taking the ASP.NET you'll have to download this uh, server also if you want to see what it's like there's the name of the server you can search on it in Google and download it and install it if you want to wait and until uh, the video comes out, then you're welcome to do that, and then we'll cover uh, installing that in there. But first thing is first, decide on which version uh, server you want. Whether you want to go with WAMP server or XAMP server, I wouldn't suggest going with personal web server from Microsoft because it's just outdated and you're, gonna, you're not going to get as much power out of it as you will any of the other two servers. So go ahead and do that, and we'll see you in the next video.